Americans get their news from ABC News than from any other source. It matters. Gallon's collection of toy commercials is as old as television itself. He took us on a tour of his TV ads from his New York City archive. Here he comes, here he comes, greatest toy you've ever seen, and his name is Mr. Machine. If you start looking back at these commercials from the 50s and 60s, the toy commercials are probably better than the toys themselves. They're much more memorable than the toys themselves. Into the deepest jungles went Pressman toy makers looking for something new. The Pressman Witch Doctor Head Shrinkers Kit. Back in the 1950s, uh, they were always hyping these commercials up. I have one commercial for the Flying Fox toy, which was a, a, an airplane simulator. You yourself make the plane climb, bank, dive, and turn in flight. The commercial would say, you can have an original jet engine in it with real motor-driven jet prop engines. So when you played the toy at home, all you had were the motor, the electric motors going, and they didn't have the sounds at all. Up until the start of television, all the toy companies weren't mom and par type companies. But all of a sudden, they started being asked to advertise on television. The first, the first programs to come on television for kids were Westerns. Hopalong Cassidy was the first to enter, then Roy Rogers. From 1950 through the 60s, you had over 32 Westerns on television. Okay, Slippery, this is the end of the line. So every kid in America had to have their own Phantom 50 gun, they had to have their holster, the whole setup. You are watching a demonstration of the most authentic cap pistol in the world. They started having to ban them in this country because people were just not robbing convenience stores with them, but you could put real bullets in the guns and shoot them. The Tommy Burst has automatic bolt action. Fire off a burst of 10 shots. Today, if you wore this or walked in the subway, to get it, they'd be calling the police for backup. The pistol fires greeny stick'em caps and shoots safe shooting shells. Back in the 50s and 60s, it was right after the war, the guy was supposed to take care of the family and the woman was supposed to take care of the kids at home. And that's the way all girl commercials were back then. You can play mommy right now with Ideal's Betsy Wetsy. You had tiny tears, Betsy Wetsy, and what were they? teaching the girl how to change the diapers and, to, and raise the family. Of course, like all little babies, Betsy Wetsy wets and needs to be changed. It was also what I call dead-end advertising. Back then, you bought one product. If you bought a robot, you had to go buy the batteries, and that was the whole toy. Today, and it really started with Barbie, you have accessories for everything. Here it is, Barbie's Dream House, the wonderful new house for Mattel's famous Barbie doll. It's completely furnished with Barbie's own dressing table, bed, studio couch, TV, and hi-fi. G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe, fighting man from head to toe, on the land, on the sea, in the air. G.I. Joe came five years after the success of Barbie. All of a sudden, Hasbro realized they can have a larger-sized doll for boys, but it wouldn't be looked at as a boy playing with a doll. You'll have the greatest realism, the greatest fun you ever had in playing soldier. All the toys back in the 50s were toys related to professions. If you wanted to be a jet pilot, you had jet pilot toys. If you wanted to be an airplane pilot, you had that. Jimmy Jet, with the exciting moving picture screen, makes you feel you can fly, fly, fly. You had your spies, you had your train collections. If you went to cars, you had cars. This lever puts the power winch into action. And Big Bruiser does it again. Back then, if you had your gun commercials, you had your dog commercials, people weren't making TV shows out of it. Everything today is a hype for a toy or some type of product to sell. If you see a movie today or a television show, it's almost like a 30-minute or a two-hour commercial for a toy product. Captain Picard orders full shields from Lieutenant LaForge in engineering. Suddenly, there is an alien presence on the ship. Back then, if you had a John Wayne movie, you didn't have John Wayne products after that. The best hype you can give a toy is to have a really good commercial. Because even if the toy is lousy, you'll buy it if you like the commercial. Look at Power Rangers. Don't fear. Wow! The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers are here! No I mean, I don't know why anybody even likes Power Rangers. Today, I haven't seen a toy that has hit the market that has really held up. 
What, what has held up over the last 20 or 30 years? G.I. Joe, Barbie. Barbie, you're beautiful. The oldies are still the goodies. Someday I'm gonna be exactly like you. Till then I know just what I'll do. Barbie, beautiful Barbie. I'll make believe that I am you. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs>